Hello and welcome. We're at the track covering the sport of Kings. Coming up, Patrick Husbands and the Enforcer conquer the Queenstown Stakes at Woodbine in Canada. Only a short head separates the first two in the feature event at Santa Rosa Park in Trinidad, while Wayne da Costa's Derby hopefuls are humbled by older horses in the Mark My Word Trophy at Kimana's Park in Jamaica. But first, to North America we go, where Patrick Husbands guided home a horse he has told friends is probably the best he has ever ridden. A small field of five went to post runs in the Queenstown Stakes over 1400 meters or seven furlongs. The three to five shot Conquest Enforcer was piloted by Barbadian Rainsman Patrick Husbands and it started from gate four. We picked them up coming out of the gates. In the gate, locked up, they're off. And coming out nicely across the track and Conquest Enforcer and Songs and Laughter go out in front of Springhouse. And on the inside is Ultra Flame and taking the early lead, Conquest Enforcer allowing Songs and Laughter to go through now. They move on to the main track, it is Songs and Laughter by a neck, Conquest Enforcer prodding again, not allowing Songs and Laughter much peace has gone back in front. Conquest Enforcer and Songs and Laughter, the top two is Springhouse, moves up a half away third and trying to angle a little bit off the inside was Ultra Flame. And the first quarter is through, 24 flat, and Conquest Enforcer's on top. Conquest Enforcer racing inside the half mile by almost a length now. Songs and Laughter the inside, and edging around is Spring House, and a couple to Ultra Flame now off the inside. More comfortable, getting a stride rolling as Conquest Enforcer swings down inside the three eighths by a length. Spring House sick, and Ultra Flame creeping closer on the outside, and then Songs and Laughter, but now trying to find that extra gear, and it is Conquest Enforcer turns up the engine and into the stretch turns clear by two lengths songs and laughter called on again in second down the outside ultra flame and then spring house and the sprint is on in the queenston and there's conquest enforcer just going further and further ahead how many gears are up the sleeve here a lot conquest enforcer a track gallop absolutely dazzling by nine lengths Songs and laughter second. So Conquest Enforcer destroys a good field to take the Queenstown Stakes on a canter. The three-year-old Bay Colt has been so impressive that Patrick Husbands believes he has an excellent chance of winning the Queen's Plate, Canada's most prestigious race and the first race in the local Triple Crown. Husbands has already won the Queen's Plate twice with Wando in 2003 and Lexi Lou in 2014. Conquest Enforcer was never asked a serious question by husbands, yet won by seven and three parts of a length, covering seven furlongs in one minute, 23 and seven tenths of a second. Still in North America, but we head south of the Canadian border uh, to the Pimlico Racetrack in Maryland, where the Kentucky Derby winner Nyquist was all the rage at three to five to win the Preakness Stakes on a muddy track. However, many pundits felt that the Derby runner-up, Exaggerator, who has shown an affinity for the sloppy underfoot conditions, would have an excellent chance of turning the tables on Nyquist in this, their fifth meeting. We pick them up down the back stretch. The pace is very, very fast, a 22 and one opening quarter mile, so Nyquist is forced to work early here. He's got Lau Ban on his inside, and Awesome Speed is running in third just behind the leaders. Then collected, followed by Stradivari toward the inside, who's about four lengths off the lead. Lau Ban is next. Now Exaggerator is down on the inside. Kent DeSormo has him about six lengths off the lead, and Nyquist is up front. His nemesis is five lengths ahead of him as Exaggerator makes steady progress on the rail. Up front, it is Uncle Lino, who continues to cling to Nyquist. Nyquist with a head in front, and on their outside, Awesome Speed. And there's Exaggerator. He's so much closer today after a 46 and two half mile. And they move for the far turn. Uncle Lino has been pressuring Nyquist the whole way. Awesome Speed is third, collected fourth, Stradivari. And Exaggerator is right on the rail. And he's two lengths off the lead. And Uncle Lino continues to battle Nyquist on the far turn. Exaggerator and Stradivari are both in contention. And now Mario Gutierrez is asking Nyquist for his run. And they're into the stretch. And it's Nyquist in front. His adversary, Exaggerator, got a jump on him. And he's gone by to take the lead as they come to the eighth pole. It is Exaggerator in front. Now, Nyquist switches back to the outside. Exaggerator down to the 16th pole. The gutty Nyquist is coming at him in second. And then Stradivari followed by Cherry Wine. But Exaggerator has turned the tables. He has won the break the stakes. It was very close for a second. 
So after setting suicidal splits in sloppy conditions in front of a record crowd of 135,000, Nyquist came up short in the Preakness, folding meekly as Exaggerator grabbed him at the top of the stretch. Exaggerator provided the jockey trip. twenty meters as they continue their preparations for the Jamaica Derby in June. Both horses who are trained by Wayne Costa were challenged by seasoned campaigners, including their stablemate Hovercraft. Brian Rickman picks up the call. As they're into the lane with a quarter of a mile to go and the champion two-year-old future king in the red nose band now takes that lead from a thousand stars. Hovercraft has to bubble to the ball in between horses. Miracle Star is out four wide in behind them. Time for arms not closing fast enough but down past the furlong pole and now Hovercraft slips to the front. It's Hovercraft in the white cap who picks it up under Omar Walker and beginning now to shake loose. Here's Miracle Star has to close up on the outside but Hovercraft has done enough to win by two and a quarter Thanks. Over Miracle Star, then Future King. Hovercraft under four time champion Omar Walker put the youngsters in their place to register a comfortable win in a truly run contest. But both Future King and a thousand stars lost no marks in defeat and will have satisfied their connections that they can handle age group company in the June 18 Cal's Jamaica Derby. We've been at the track covering top stories in the sport of kings. Join us again next week.